don't live under a rock, you know how crazy this card is. We have O'Malley versus Vera 2. I went to Miami. So am I. I'm going to Miami this weekend. Sean is currently the champion and he claims he's never been defeated before. But he has. He has one loss and it was against Cheeto. If you're new here, I'm Natalie Loretta and I debrief the beef in MMA. If you follow me, you know what I'm about to say. Anything could happen. Although Sean is taller, after re-watching the last fight, Cheeto does have pretty long legs. Like, he could get his front kicks up there. These two fought back when Sean was still ranked mm -hmm. number 14. So a lot of you may think, like, even though Cheeto did look better in this fight, Sean has only gotten better. And I guess you could argue that Cheeto has looked worse in his past fights. What happened? Cheeto obviously won. He finished him with some elbow strikes. But the reason why Sean says that this was not a lot was because of the ankle roll that happened during the match that he fell in the match too. So I know it's painful, but Brian Ortega rolled his ankle right before the match and he prayed to God and he was perfectly fine. So he won his last fight to Pedro Munoz and Pedro is also fighting in the same card in Miami. And then on the other hand, O'Malley, the current champ, he's been fighting the toughest ranked fighters, Aljamain Sterling, Peter Yan. I'll be debriefing the beef on the rest of the card and also be hoping to sneak into this event somehow, so.